I'm here to say goodbye. It's something that I need to do. Um, I haven't been able to make this video for, a real, but I've wanted to make it for a really, really long time. And um, it's just, like I said, it's time to say goodbye. You're probably saying, what are you talking about, Alicia? You're not leaving. No. It's time to say goodbye to the little girl who felt so insignificant that she felt like she needed to use food for love. It's time to say goodbye to that teenager who was never good enough for anybody else and who turned to smoking and drinking to feel okay with herself. It's time to say goodbye to that 560 pound girl who wanted nothing more but to die. It's, it's time to let them go. It's time to say no more. It's time to stop living in the past and start looking forward to life. So, that's what this video is about is saying goodbye. So I'm going to start with that little girl. And yes, I'm going to start the day I was born. May 15th, 2000, 2000. May 15th, 1974. And I have to say that I don't remember life before the age of eight, nine, which is very irritating for me to not remember what life was like, what my childhood was like. The only thing I can think of is that maybe something traumatic happened to me and that's why, that's why I can't remember. Um, my first memories are as a eight-year-old, I believe I was about eight, and I was molested. And this is not an easy thing for me to talk about, but <clears throat> I need to get it out because I need to say goodbye to all those hurt people and what I mean by people I mean the little girl I mean the teenager and I mean the 500 pound woman so as a little girl I was never I never had a voice it was never okay I was always just shoved in the corner because my, I was so in, insignificant. I was just that little fat girl who ate too much and nothing mattered because my brother was the, you know, the one who played baseball and he was important and I wasn't. So once I found food and found that I could get comfort from food, that's what really mattered to me. That's all that mattered. I learned early on that everybody leaves. Friendships don't last. I'm... Life is full of disappointments. And that nobody really loved me as a little girl. Well, no, that's not true. My grandfather, I know he loved me 
till the day he died. But as a teenager, he left. He he didn't leave, but he left this world, and that was really hard to deal with. But I want to say to that little girl that it wasn't your fault. You you didn't know. You were just a little girl. And you didn't deserve to be treated the way you did. Like you were nothing. You were a little girl. People should have took care of you. And it's not your fault. You mattered. You still matter. So to that little girl, I just want to say that I love you. And it's time to let go and move on from all the hurt and all the pain that people showed you. Because that's not you anymore. And then a teenager. I was never good enough. I was fat. I was called fat. I was called ugly. I was called everything. I had no boyfriends. I had, even though I wanted, my friends were all skinny and pretty and I was just called mean and awful names. I just wasn't good enough. I loved sports when I was younger, but I was, I loved softball and baseball and volleyball and gymnastics, but I was too fat. I was told that I was too fat for anything, for sports. I was too fat to play softball. I remember trying out for the softball team and was, wasn't given a chance because I was too fat. And that was hurtful. So at that point, I said, fuck it. Why? Why should I even try? So I started hanging out with people who smoked and drank. Because that was the only people that accepted me. Started smoking when I was 13 years old. 13. Parents had no idea what I was doing. As far as I know, maybe they did, but they just didn't care. And, uh, I just felt numb through junior high. I numbed myself with alcohol. I, I just did. Like, my junior high years, it, it, up into high school, was just, I was nothing. I was absolutely nothing. And nobody cared. My parents didn't care. My family didn't care. I was just this fat little girl. Not little, but fat girl who just... Fat teenager who, who wasn't good enough. I never did anything that was good enough. You know, I, my room wasn't clean good enough. Or I didn't walk or talk or dress good enough. I just was not good enough. So... To that girl, I want to say, you didn't deserve it. You were something, and you are something. And in high school, I always felt like, like, nobody, someone, people just saw this fat girl. Look at her, she's gross, she's fat, she's disgusting, she can't do anything. And I felt so in insignificant until I joined the yearbook. Then I found my thing, like I love photography. And you know, I kick myself every day that I didn't go on with that because I love taking pictures. I love photography. I love 
developing my own pictures. I know how to do that. I know how to develop pictures. I, you know, I love black and white photos. But I just gave up on it because what was the use? My grandfather died. My family acted like they hated me. I was out on the street at 17. Nobody cared. I slept in my car and nobody cared. So, to that teenager, I, want, I just want to say that, tell her that I love you and you are worth more than, I don't even know how to put it. You, you, you are very important. You are someone and you do have a huge, you have talent. You have talent. And I'm sorry that you were not able to use this talent. But it's not too late. I just want to tell her it's not too late. Okay, guys. And I really hope that you guys don't think that I'm weird by saying all this. I just It's just something that I'm not good at words on paper. But I'm better at words on video. So... Um, to that girl, to that adult who was three, four, five hundred pounds, I just want to tell you that your life does have meaning. You mean so much to people who are in your life. Your son loves you. Chris loves you. Other people look up to you. And I just want to say, it's okay. You can let go of that person. You don't need to live as a 500 pound woman anymore. You're important. You belong in this world. Please don't ever think, think that you're better off dead. People do love you. Even though sometimes they may not show it, they love you. And food is not the answer. Food will never be the answer because food does not make those problems go away. It just makes them worse. So it's okay to be who you are. And I know that so many people let you down in your life, but don't punish yourself anymore for it. Please don't punish yourself, because I love you. Okay. So I just want to say goodbye to that little girl, the teenager, and the 500 pound woman who felt this little her whole life so guys I know this might not have much meaning to you guys but for me it's something that I needed to do for me and it's so important because my life has been full of People not given a goddamn about me. Seriously. Like, full of disappointment. And I was never good enough. And, 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 you know, life was just, wasn't worth it. But, you know, I realized today, being in the 300s, that I can do this. I can do this. And even though that was my past, it doesn't have to be my future. And I refuse to let that, the things that happened to me as a girl, as a teenager, e even last year, 
I refuse to let it affect me today because that's not who I am anymore. I love myself. You know, I love the person that I'm becoming. I have so much to look forward to. You know, I just talked to one of my friends today and I was telling him the same thing. You have so much life ahead of you. You have so much to look forward to. And I thought to myself, I should be saying that to me. You know, not only to him, but to me. Because I'm 40 years old. I'm not almost dead. Like, I have so much to give. And, you know, I've, I've had a hard time with, you know, issues, relationships, friendships, just you know, family, just on and on and on. And I always turn to food because that seems to be what comforts me, you know. I'm always worried. Don't have this, have this, don't have that. You can't have that. You know, I'm tired of saying that you can't have this. You don't do that. Don't do this. You know what? I'm going to live. That is what I'm going to do. And I just think it's a huge weight off my shoulder just to tell the myself in the past that it's okay to let go it's okay to move forward and it's okay to be scared but it's gonna be okay I don't really have tears which is really surprising because There's nothing to be sad about anymore. There's nothing to be sad about anymore. I feel happy. I feel relieved. I feel ready to hit that 350 pound mark and then the 300 pound mark. Like, I am ready, you know? I'm ready. I'm ready to live my life. I'm not ready to just lay in a bed or sit in a chair all you know, all day, every day for the rest of my life and do nothing. You know, I have passions. I have desires. And like I said, I, since very young, I love photography. Like, I love photography. You know, my best friend, my sister, Jen, she sent me a couple years ago, she sent me a beautiful camera. You know, it's a 35 millimeter camera which is like I love and I haven't been utilizing it and I need to I need to you know I'm no longer that girl who who can't do shit and I'm not gonna like just feel sorry for myself that you know that I was 560 pounds and and you know yeah I've come a long way and I'm proud of every every damn pound and ounce and step that I have taken and I'm proud and I don't you know if somebody else wants to say anything about me that I was fi over 500 pounds and I'm this now fine I don't care because I'm proud of me and that's what matters so I just want to say goodbye just goodbye it's, it's, it's time to put that part of my life to rest and it's finally time for the sun to come out and say, I can't wait to what the next 40 years brings me. Because the first 40 years have brought me nothing but grief and misery and just tears and pain. And I'm ready for that to be over. And I'm not making excuses anymore. I'm ready to live my life and I'm ready to say food you don't have control over me you just don't anyway guys I'm sorry this was so long it was just something that I really really have been wanting to do for a really long time and um, <laughs> if you watch it all the way through I commend you um, but you know I have a poster up on my wall that I look at a lot. 
a lot. I'm going to read it to you. I've shown you guys before, but, you know, uh, I'm... Let me read it. It says, I'm not a perfect girl. My hair doesn't always stay in place. I spill things a lot. I'm very clumsy. Sometimes I have a broken heart. My friends and I sometimes fight. Maybe some days nothing goes right. But when I think about it and take a step back, I remember how amazing life truly is. And through all my imperfections, God still loves me. So I have to remember that. Like, when I'm feeling down, I read that and remember that, yes, I have imperfections. But that's what makes beautiful Alicia beautiful Alicia. And the crazy thing is that it's been raining and gloomy all day. And the sun just came out. Literally just came out. So I know everything's going to be alright. So, again, if you watch this all the way through, thank you so much. Thank you to all my friends. And for just being there and listening to me and never judging me. And, you know, and to the other people who want to judge me it's okay it's okay we all we we all learn we all learn so I uh I still love you guys too anyway guys um I'm gonna get off of here because I'm feeling much better and um I'll talk to you soon all right bye